Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I got three of the dogs out here. I got these boots on. I bought these for Sophie last year and they're a little big for me. But I actually like them, I'm gonna get myself a pair. They're just like slip on, kind of like rain boots. I love them. And Molly's like, let's go! <laughs> Danny suggested that I get a bell for Molly, for Ellie. And I'm gonna do that as soon as I can find a bell because it will be really handy knowing where she is at all times because she likes to run. Sophie's sick. I'm just telling you everything now before I forget it. She has a cold. She's looking miserable. She's feeling miserable. Do you feel warm? Are you okay? You wanna take Tylenol? I don't know if we had a tornado. I haven't ch checked. Usually when we have winds the way we had the other night, it usually is a tornado in uh, in the vicinity. So we had lots of branches down. These are all old trees here and we have branches everywhere. Sam's gonna cut those up and burn them. You're gonna cut them up and burn them? Yeah, lots of branches to burn. Did we have a tornado the other day or was it just high winds? Just winds. We've been having tornadoes around this area lately though, the last couple of years. So it definitely felt like a tornado field there in the rock field and they all ran to the the goats are running yeah. branches everywhere <laughs> like I can't believe it Sam so went to get hay and he's just back it's actually nice out do you find it nice out yeah. it'll be warmer tomorrow and warmer tomorrow Ruby has a scheduled hair appointment I know some people have been waiting for that I also wanted to bring this coconut oil with me there's so many things you can use coconut oil with and I'm gonna take this into the house and see if I can salvage it. Looks dirty because I've kept it in the barn, but I think that I can use this stuff. Not for us, not to eat. Sylvia, you need to brush her. She is, now that it's finally warm, tomorrow I'm gonna to clean our whole paddock. It's my goal. Hi, handsome man. Yeah, and she's just so cuddly. Did you come to see us? So um, I was just reading comments and everybody was concerned about Storm, thinking that he had hives and everybody said, please check him. And I absolutely did check him, I promise. I, we brushed him and it was the, like, it was the weirdest thing. Penny had it too. And it was almost like, you know how when they wear a coat and then you take it off and then they scratch themselves and they, they go like, and they bite their fur and then that fur pops out. It was kind of like that all over. It, Penny didn't have it in as many spots, but anyway. There were no hives on their skin, no raised welts at all. And when we brushed the fur, it just laid down again. So we did check it out, we did make sure, and then we did put blankets on because it was cold. Somebody else said that she thought that they both had rain rot. <laughs> and she said that she thought that they had rain rot in a couple of videos. They definitely don't have rain, wot, rain rot. We are super experienced with rain rot. All of our animals just waiting to go through the gate. Remember when we moved here, I'm like, this, these gates are gonna, gonna hurt us. You let her go. She loves to go. What? Come on, little mini. Go, look, go. Come on, little pony. They all want to come down here. Gracie's like, if you let her go. Uh-oh. Here come. Here they all come. Run. <laughs> Gracie still thinks of her as her baby. Well, so when I let you down here, you just And Willa wants to come too because Will often comes down. Are you feeling jealous? She doesn't even like it down there. She doesn't. She just stands here with the others. Oh. Anyways, honey loves it down here. <laughs> So we just let her. Oh, <laughs> she's so, let her come. Just let her. You're figure out that she just stands here. You're putting them back up. Yeah. Now. Okay. Oh, I wanted to just answer all those questions at the beginning of the vlog so I don't forget. And there's a couple other things that I wanted to explain to you guys too. I love to see what happens when Winston sees Sophie for the first time each day. Oh. Her grandma, his grandma, was that his grandma? His grandma just pushed him away from Sophie. Do you guys know that goats will teach each other to be, to be 
goats will teach their babies to be scared. Tilly is definitely one of those ones. She actually taught Rosie to be terrified of us and it was really hard for us to kind of get her back and not let her be so overpowered by her mom. But little baby Winston is definitely very loved and very happy with his people. Ellie only comes down here so she can chase the cat, I swear. And Molly, when I did chores this morning, poor little Molly got, got horned by Blossom because she thought Molly was gonna go after her baby and Molly wasn't gonna go after her baby. You guys stay here and wait. Uh-oh. <laughs> I come out and this is what I see. One of the things that people are saying is that we should keep Rocky because he's been here this whole time. He knows his mom. He knows his sisters. And we love him. So should we keep Rocky? All right. So, and someone said like... He's been here his whole life. I know. The other one hasn't. I know. But so, and someone said, yeah, I get your whole reason for wanting to keep him, but there's going to be other bucklings. Hopefully not. <laughs> Sophie, if we could just say, I wish there were no boys in the world then, and it happened, well, the world would end. Those two should have girls. Yeah. I mean, Mocha should have girls because I bred her specifically for girls. Look at, look at that little horsey. <laughs> She would love to be in here, I bet, yeah. She chases the goats. <laughs> yeah, she chases the goats. She's a wild thing. Anyway, so I see both sides well, of it. We have two of this color, and then we have four of this color. Oh, I see both sides. Like, I get it. Like, I don't know how we're going to sell goats because the, we can't stop ourselves from falling in love with every single one. On the eve of... The birth of a bunch of babies that are coming any day now I want to say this the reason that I we we bought Rocky to begin with is because he was four months old or three months old three months old I think and there he is over there he was three months old and he was still getting milk from his mom and he his mom was really close with him and I didn't want to break that up like I I knew if we took his mom and his sister it would be really hard on him and it would be really hard on his mom and his sister. Like they were all really close. Since, okay, so when we had the buck, I had to separate Rocky for a long time. I kept him with the buck to keep the buck company. And that started to break down the relationship between Rocky and his mom. So Rocky and his mom are not really close anymore. Rocky and his sister are not any close, not very close anymore. In fact, to all of our goats, Rocky is a nuisance. <laughs> And he is a bit of a nuisance. Even to us, he's a nuisance. So if it comes down to like having to choose between Rocky and a baby that Sophie likes, then I... It's, it's always going to be me. I understand. Like, I was really against getting rid of Rocky, but... <laughs> when? I what don't want to get rid of him. Like, he's been... He's our GOAT. And this is what I struggle with. I'm a big thing. believer in mental health. Like, nothing in the world matters more than mental health. And that's like... I have like a whole video I want to make about about like discipline and how we treat each other and, and mental health. Like nothing matters more than mental health. So thinking about Rocky going to a new home and having to like find his place in, in the herd and having to be new and having to not feel confident and know his place. And that just makes me sad. But it's the same for every single animal that we have. It's the same for little Winston, but a little less for Winston because he's not really old enough to have really, like he's young. So I feel like it would be easier on him. But anyways, ultimately. But this one has blue eyes. Yeah. So ultimately I think that we probably rehome Rocky versus Winston, which really sucks. This is why having boys and is hard. We'll have three of each color. But here's the thing. Another thing. Everybody wants to know about his horn. So are we are we de disbudding our babies? <laughs> so we are. And we tried to decide what way we wanted to do it. So we could have our vet do it. I could burn them with the uh, disbudding iron, which is what I am going to do. I am going to, it takes a lot of learning. So I'm going to be practicing it and I'm going to be figuring it out over the next few weeks. And all of our registered goats will be disbudded. Or pulled. 
or pulled because we're going to try and get a pulled goat as well. If you don't know what that means, a pulled goat is a hor is a goat that naturally doesn't grow horns. Isn't that great? Isn't that crazy? Like I'd like to just breed pulled. Pulled and blue eyed goats are my favorite. Right now we're just getting in. We're, we're trying to switch our herd over to a registered herd. We're starting with some testing to make sure that all of our goats don't have any diseases we're gonna do a bunch of that like we did with Lola when we got her we tested her we did a bunch of testing because we didn't want to bring her into our herd but we have never tested the rest of our herd so we want to do that we're well, starting with that I met a mentor that's guiding me along this whole journey into showing goats we're gonna be showing goats and we're gonna be breeding goats and we're gonna be only doing mostly registered goats and we probably will still have some pet goats that we will breed for milk because we really enjoy the milk and the whole milking process. I wanna um, do a lot with our milk. I'm gonna be doing milk testing. Like I'm gonna be doing a lot of whole different journey with the goats than how we started. Rocky screams, this one doesn't. Yeah, so Rocky is way noisier than this guy. This guy is the quietest goat I've ever seen on earth. He is just a quiet baby and that is a huge thing. Like I feel bad though. I don't think you should sell every goat just because a new cuter one comes along. But how do you know? Because there, we're gonna get at least four more babies in the quiet. next week. And, and those are gonna be girls. So they might be the cutest baby. What if we get the cutest boy, like a black and white one that looks like a cow? Do you really want a black one? A black and white that looks like a cow. Okay, but none of them are paints, well, except for those two. So how would it be possible? Okay, but what if we got that? Do they scream? Sophie, yeah. there's gonna be same genetics. Well, we'll see once. <laughs> so uh, basically we don't know what we're gonna do yet but we definitely do favor a baby that we raise to be friendly over a goat that isn't as friendly he, <laughs> yeah, he does love it he's adorable all right so back to the disbudding so all of our registered goats will be disbudded and I'm in the process of of practicing it it's something that's really I have a friend that's showing me how to do it and teaching me and letting me practice a bunch of times before I started on my own. Oh, so I want to get that down pat before I start disbudding goats. And we don't even have our registered goats yet, although I'm on a list to get one. Speaking of Rocky, here he is. He's so cute. Well, look so, at this one. This yeah, guy's cuter. I think spots. he's cuter. Like, this he's cute because he's a baby. Yeah, he has blue eyes. But look at how cute he is. Okay, but that one jumps on you. It's annoying. So, you don't think this one's going to jump on you? So that you basically taught lay down. Let's see what happens. No. I got a headache last time. Because <laughs> yeah, he just jumps on you. So our, our, our goats will be disbudded within the first few days of life. Ellie. <sighs> Ellie just climbed through the door. That's why I tell you to stay in there, Ellie. Because this goat wants to kill you. Because she thinks, oh, be nice. She wants to kill you. She's our friendliest goat. Yeah, she's our friendliest baby. Well, not anymore, apparently. And she has a horrible udder. <laughs> no, she doesn't. It's just not a nice udder. None. Her mom doesn't have a nice udder either. Look at, oh, she's laying down. <laughs> I love watching them just lay down and chew their cud and just relax. Basically, we want to disbud them um, if we get one. But until we learn, we're not going to be doing it. Other than I did get some disbudding cream and tried it on this guy. So you can disbud chemically or you can disbud with a hot iron. And we tried it. Bring him over here and let's show them what happened. So we did it when he was three days old because boys tend to grow their horns really quickly. So we did them really quickly. We shaved his over his horns and we put the disbudding cream on. We followed the directions exactly. All right, catch. I watched a million videos. We followed the directions exactly. And then what happened to his horns? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, bring it over. Bring him over here. So basically what happened is all around the horn is probably like, they're probably thinner, like right around the base is not going to grow as much. Um, but this tip here, it didn't, it didn't die. And I don't know why we did it exactly the way it said. So he is going to have horns, but we're just learning and it's okay. It's a process. And these goats, um, as amazing as they are, they're only going to pet homes. They're not going to show homes. Okay, he's staying. Well, I don't know. We don't know He's, yet. I, told you. I say we wait till all the babies come and then decide and pick one weather. Yeah, which probably won't be rocky at this 
Anyway, comment below your thoughts, you guys, because I appreciate reading them. I appreciate, like, hearing all the things you say about how, like, poor little Rocky shouldn't be sold. How poor little Rocky shouldn't move on or have to move on just because there's new goats. And I agree with that. We didn't really want Rocky when we bought him. We bought him because we thought it would be good to have a weather. We didn't want to separate him from his mom. Look at how much bigger he is from his sister, though. He's thick. He's thick. So, yes, we are going to disbud. Yes, I'm learning about it right now. I want to be able to do it myself. So if he's snap trapped. Okay. Sneak, so sneak, tired, sneak away. Sneak away. Asleep, so I can't really. Look at him. <laughs> I know this. <laughs> he's so funny. Oh, and he's up. <laughs> That's what having a baby is like, Sophie. <laughs> Take your baby back. We're leaving. <laughs> he's like, I don't want to go back. Like, that was a nice Man, day. she says, I barely got a nap. He doesn't want me to put him down. He is happy. Look, he just wants her to hold him. Look, he's asleep again. His eyeballs are closing. That's crazy. There's sweet Lola. Sophie wants to keep her. I am. Should I get a lead rope? <laughs> no, let's see if she'll come with us. Actually, I want to get a collar for Lola or for Mocha so that when she gives birth, if we have to hold her. Okay. I've given her two collars. She's broken out of both of them. I know. Come on. Tonight we're running on the right track. ground slopes which is really good that's why we don't have a lot of mud in here because the what the ground has a natural slope and the water drains away so I love that see it all goes downhill over here and I love that but this weekend tomorrow I want to clean up all this ground and I want to show you something you guys know when you leave horse poop and dirt and you let it get wet and then the sun comes it turns it kind of into like a compost and so this dirt that's in here is mostly dirt that's been composted with poop and it's super rich and amazing so what i was thinking was that i'm not gonna be able to clean up all this dirt that's on the ground here like all this soil that's been made from composted poop and hay and all that kind of stuff so what I was thinking that Sam's going to have to do it with his tractor. He's going to have to push it or move it someplace. Hello. Hi. Ooh, you were drinking? I know. It's mean. You, they're so mean to you, aren't they? I know. And you're the cutest girl. I was thinking what would happen if Sam got the tractor and he just moved it and just pushed it all down there and kind of tried to, to grade this area a little bit better. We obviously still need drainage. We have drainage down this hill and then over going into the goat barn, it goes downhill there. All the water drains. I don't want to mess with that. But what if we brought it up to grade a little bit better, but we used all the dirt that's already in here. So we just leveled it out with the dirt that's in here. Sam, I'm talking to you. That's what I want you to do tomorrow. I don't want any excuses saying, no, oh, my tractor won't do that. or My tractor's not strong enough. Buy me a new tractor. My tractor's not good enough. I don't want to hear any of those excuses. I want you to jump on that tractor and I want you to grade this 
this, drag this area so that we still have a deep, an, so that we still have good drainage, but that it's a little bit more. Also, our farrier comes next week. I'm just noticing Gracie's little hooves. We need some foot care, huh? So before I say goodbye to today's video, I just wanted to point out to the girl who keeps on saying that our horses have rain rot, I think she must come from a different, a different um, climate than we have. None of them have rain rot. To get rain rot, you have to have like really wet conditions. You have to leave blankets on when it's hot so that they get so super sweaty. You have to be like wet and gooey you have like there's a lot of different ways that you get rain rot but in our climate especially right now in winter we're not in a season for rain rot what or are you itchy hey right here whoa oh my gosh penny and her shenanigans so anyway rain rot is not very common here unless some unless there's like a very specific reason like a horse that has a blanket on that allows them to get wet underneath and then they can't dry because they have this blanket on we literally do not get it very much in our climate unless something happens specifically so our horses will probably never have rain rot like i said oh storm had it once because <laughs> ellie ellie did you chase that horse storm had it once because we put coconut oil on the base of his tail and I rubbed it all around in there and that coconut oil just kept him moist and so he got rain rot. But no rain rot and no hives. Just so everybody, see she just rolled and the same thing happened to her. It was that rolling around pulled the fur up. See it's got mud on it, pulled it up from how it's all flattened from the blankets. And that girl will never, ha never have that look to her because she doesn't have a blanket and so she's all puffy and see her hair is flattened her hair is puffy and so when she scratches or rolls it pulls her hair up and it's covered in mud so it makes it look even more different but just wanted to share with you guys so you don't have to worry about our horses having brain rot or having hives we're always on it let's go little muffin having our horses at home allows us to have so much better control. We're able to see everything every single day. It's so different than boarding your horse someplace, going out like every three days or every other day and not being able to be there to take off blankets when they need them off or anyway, that is it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Also comment below what you think about selling our, our goats and our babies and, and just tell me your side because reading your side, it makes me sometimes think about things that I haven't really thought about before. Like it just really is so, it just really gives me other people's perspectives and it helps me make choices that will suit us best. Don't you know that you're beautiful?